There's a lot of kids out there who aren't getting as much support as they used to and there does seem to be a, a problem at the moment that we need to address and if we can find child-friendly ways of doing things then that's going to be to the benefit. I'm Director of Student Support but a large part of my work is research in child mental health. I run a centre called COMIC which stands for the Child Oriented Mental Health Intervention Centre and it's slightly different from other child mental health research around the country because a lot of centres focus on things like medication, treatments that have perhaps been borrowed from adult mental health like cognitive behaviour therapy and, and sort of tried in, in children and young people. In children, uh, their brain is developing all the time, from birth up to 18. Your social intelligence is developing, your emotional intelligence is developing. We, we focus much more on interventions that are designed for children. So things like writing social stories for kids so that they can reduce their anxiety levels, or Lego-based therapy for kids with autism. What it involves initially is you have three children with autism and they will play with the Lego collaboratively with the help of a facilitator who's an adult. They are ascribed three clear roles. What happens is you say, right, who'd like to be the builder, who'd like to be the engineer, and who'd like to be the supplier, because that's what they call them. And eventually you enable them to come up with a solution. And often at the beginning of the therapy you need to have more involvement from the adult to do that but you fade that as the therapy progresses so that they learn how to negotiate and problem solve socially. And over time, you're building a set of skills for them that they can transplant to other situations. And not only that, but they start to interact a little bit more outside of the classroom. And that becomes a springboard for social change. So you've got all these textbooks saying what autism is, and it's all defined in a very negative way children with autism, they describe it in a really positive way. They see the world in different ways, they have strengths, they just have a different way of viewing the world and it just gives you a completely different perspective. I think the thing that's most exciting about my area of research is that we have only just scratched the surface of it. If you were to ask me what my biggest achievement was, it would probably be setting up comic, because I, I really do think that's a step change away from what other people are doing. Surgery, I'm sure, is very satisfying, but you do meet somebody very briefly, you do an operation and you probably never see them again. In child mental health, you get to know the family quite well, you get to know the ins and outs of what's going on, they trust you. So you're working very much alongside them to try and achieve something, and it's very satisfying when things improve for you.